When it comes to fighter jets, the engine is the heart of the beast. In the world of military aviation, two engines have been duking it out for supremacy, the EJ-200 and the GEF-414. The EJ-200, also known as the Eurojet EJ-200, powers the Eurofighter Typhoon. It's like the Ferrari of jet engines, sleek, powerful and with a hint of European flair. On the other side, we've got the GE F414, the muscle car of jet engines, powering the FA18E F Super Hornet. India needed to choose between these two heavyweight contenders for their fighter programs. In this essay, we're going to dive into why India chose the GE F414. It's a tale of superior performance, proven track record, and strategic partnerships. The GE F414 offers better thrust reliability and upgradability, making it the ideal choice for India's defense needs. So strap in folks, we're about to take off on a journey through the world of jet engines. Let's get our hands dirty and dive into the nitty gritty of these engines. The EJ2000 is a technological marvel designed for high performance and fuel efficiency. It's got a modular design, making maintenance a breeze. Now, let's shift gears to the GE F414. This engine has a three-stage fan and a seven-stage high-pressure compressor. It includes advanced technology like 3D aerodynamics. The F414's standout feature is its durability. Let's see how they compare in key performance areas. When it comes to fighter jet engines, three things matter most. Thrust, fuel efficiency, and weight. The EJ200 can produce up to 90 kilonewtons of thrust. The GE F414 can generate up to 98 kilonewtons. Now, let's talk fuel efficiency. The EJ200 has a specific fuel consumption of about 21 to 23 grams per kilonewton second. The GE F414 has about 20 to 22 grams per kilonewton second. Weight is our final contender. The EJ200 weighs about 1,035 kilograms. The GE F414 is 1,110 kilograms. The GE F414 edges out with more thrust and better fuel efficiency, while the EJ2000 takes the weight category. When it comes to fighter jets, compatibility is king. The GE F414 is designed to be easily integrated into a variety of aircraft platforms. It's like a Swiss Army knife, versatile and ready for anything. The GE F414 has a proven track record of successful integration. It's not just powering the FA-18 Super Hornet, but also Sweden's Saab Jazz 39 EEF Gripen and South Korea's KAI KF-21 Boramai. This versatility is a big plus. For India's fighter programs, this compatibility is crucial. The GE F414 can be more easily integrated into India's indigenous fighter designs. This ease of integration can save time, money and headaches during the development process. The EJ2000, while formidable, doesn't have the same level of proven integration across different platforms. The GE F414's wider integration experience gives it a significant edge. In India's case, the GE F414's compatibility and integration advantages made it a more attractive option for their fighter programs. When it comes to jet engines, experience matters. The GE F414 has been in service since the late 1990s, powering the FA-18E F Super Hornet. That's over two decades of operational experience in various conditions. This extensive service history means the GE F414 has been tested in real-world scenarios. This kind of experience is invaluable. The EJ2000, while an excellent engine, doesn't have the same depth of operational experience. For India, this operational experience translates to reliability and predictability. They know what they're getting with the GE F414. This knowledge can be crucial when planning long-term military strategies and budgets. The GE F414's proven track record likely played a significant role in India's decision-making process. 
Let's roll up our sleeves and dive deeper into the performance specs of these engines. The GE F414 has a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 plus. It can push an aircraft to altitudes over 50,000 feet. The EJ200 is no slouch either, achieving similar speeds and altitudes. But performance isn't just about top speed. One area where the GE F414 shines is in its low speed performance. It's got excellent handling characteristics at low speeds, crucial for carrier operations. This versatility is a big plus, especially for a country like India with diverse operational needs. The GE F414 also boasts impressive acceleration, going from idle to maximum afterburner in less than four seconds. This rapid response can be a game changer in combat situations. The EJ2000 has similar capabilities, but the F414's proven track record in this area likely gave it an edge in India's evaluation. When you're choosing an engine for a fighter jet, every fraction of a second counts. Let's move on to cost, maintenance, and strategic partnerships. Now, let's talk Turkey, or in this case, money. The cost of these engines isn't just about the initial price tag. The GE F414 has a reputation for being cost-effective over its life cycle. It's designed for easy maintenance, which can save big bucks in the long run. Maintenance is a big deal when it comes to jet engines. The GE F414 is designed with modularity in mind. This means parts can be easily swapped out without having to overhaul the entire engine. Strategic partnerships also played a role in India's decision. General Electric has a long history of collaboration with India's aerospace industry. This existing relationship means smoother technology transfer and better support. The decision to go with the GE F414 also aligns with India's strategic interests. In the fast-paced world of military technology, staying ahead of the curve is crucial. This is where the GE F414's upgradability really shines. General Electric has a roadmap for continuous improvement of the F414. One of the key upgrades planned for the F414 is increased thrust. GE has talked about boosting the engine's output to 116 kilonewtons. This potential for increased performance means the engine can grow alongside India's fighter jet program. The F414 is also being developed with enhanced durability in mind. This means longer time between overhauls and reduced maintenance costs. Looking even further ahead, the F414 serves as a stepping stone to more advanced technologies. By choosing the F414, India isn't just getting an engine, they're getting a ticket to ride on GE's technology development train. The F414's proven track record, coupled with its potential for upgrades and future development, made it the optimal choice for India's fighter jet programs. It's not just an engine, it's an investment in the future of India's 